Hi everyone, it's August 15, 2018. I want to thank my subscriber for sending this along to me, Southern California Edison. She received this notification in her mail out in California, protecting against the threat of wildfires. Southern California Edison, well, you get some high wind, they're going to be shutting off your power. Oh, they're going to do it. They have protocols. They're going to do it sparingly. But they're warning you that your power may go out uh, off. What's the fire threat? High winds today. High winds, that's all it takes. High winds. And of course they throw in there climate change. Uh, those, uh, oh God, buzzwords. Yes, thank you, Carol. Um, here, they, they want to protect you and your family from the threat of wildfire. They write, the 2017 wildfire season demonstrated the increased threat wildfires have in California. Wildfires threaten not only our homes, our lives, and our economy, but also our fight to reduce California's carbon footprint. Don't you wish people would just do the research to learn? At global warming, climate change, it's all a lie. And all of these extreme weather events, the fires and the heat waves, all manufactured to get people to just bow down, fall to your knees. Yes, do whatever it is that you have to do to protect us. It's unfortunate that they happen to be in the majority, and the majority, they manifest reality. So... We all get to live the consequences of that reality, and that is what makes me and a lot of other people angry. This willful ignorance has a ripple effect, and the ripple effect is not good, because everybody has to suffer the consequences. And I'm going to show you, Southern California Edison has been involved in weather modification for a very long time. They could be putting out the fires, but they don't. Uh, you know, the thing about lying is in any relationship, it causes such insanity. It's, it's you lie, you create insanity. You betray uh, truth, which in that relationship you don't know how to trust one another, or you don't know how to trust the person who lies, and you never know where you stand. You are, the liar always has a leg up. They always put themselves in the dominant position. So you're always submissive to them. And that creates an unequal relationship. But it just causes you to live never knowing what is going on. And that's why I've said for six years, if people would stop lying, we could clear up all of this crap that we are living today, this nightmare. This nightmare would completely collapse if people would just tell the truth. So here you have, and you have a relationship with your energy companies, your relationship with Southern California Edison, some of you know the truth about energy companies, their involvement in weather modification. Southern California Edison, they want to protect you from wildfires. So they're going to shut off your power when it's windy out. That's their protection. And yet, they can make it rain. And when you can make it rain, oh, you don't have dry conditions. The dry conditions, the extreme winds, 
voila, you got a fire. Well, you don't have to. Voila, I have a fire. Um, but you don't have to have dry conditions. Mountains and mountains and mountains of facts and evidence, and we still can't get through to people. So the liar gets to just go on and do whatever the hell they want to do. When people don't want to be bothered with the truth. And that creates, for all of us, real dangers. And we're all living in the danger zone now. I hope I was clear enough for you to understand. And I want to say, um, you know, tell tell other customers that you know, customers of Southern California Edison, they can make it rain. They can they can get rid of these dry conditions that we have. So these wildfires wouldn't be fueled by these dry conditions. That's what I want to say, but I also know that we have so many people who just don't want to hear it. Evidence facts mean nothing. It means nothing. But if you could get all of the Southern California Edison customers to call Southern California Edison and saying, why are you protecting us with these measures when you can make the dry conditions disappear. Well, that's not going to happen. Here, they write, yes. <sighs> They're not only dangerous for your homes and lives and economy, but also to fight to reduce California's carbon, carbon footprint. Without action, things will only get worse, and they will. Whether Southern California Edison turns off your power or not, things are going to get a lot worse. A hotter, drier California coupled with the reality of a now year-round fire season, we must all take significant measures, measures to help mitigate these risks under the new normal conditions in our state. Holy You know, just that alone begs so many questions. And I'm afraid that people have lost their common sense. They've just lost their their ability to critically think. And it's it's kind of like, you know, they're they watch mainstream media, they get these notifications, they read it, it's it's like putting words into an empty vessel. Well, they should realize that this normal, new normal, has come upon them very quickly. Yes, you've always had fires, but not these kinds of fires that you are seeing now. And the dry conditions, the hotter conditions, well, one only has to do a little bit of research on weather modification, geoengineering, to learn that all of these quote unquote extreme weather events, the fires, the flesh flooding, all of it is our weather is controlled. They can manipulate the jet stream. Okay, I'm not going to get to that. Um, so what is a public safety power shut off <laughs> when extreme fire conditions, which apparently now is high winds? High winds? That's, that's it. Uh, when they present a clear danger to the public, we may shut off power in high fire risk areas, which is essentially all of California. De-energizing customers is not something we take lightly. Being without power can be disruptive to you and your family. And it is our intention to use this protocol sparingly to manage only the most extreme conditions. We view these public safety power shutoffs as a last resort. Um, get it. Get it. 
Americans, not just Californians, all of you living in this country, your lives, if they're still comfortable, will become uncomfortable. Electricity will be rationed. The use of air conditioning will be rationed. And you want to keep believing the lie? Go ahead. Suffer these man-made extreme conditions, these heat waves without air conditioning. Enjoy the electricity being rationed and enjoy having to expend the finances to upgrade your homes, to buy new appliances that are Energy Star appliances. All of it is coming. And for all of you not living in California, what they are experiencing, it is coming to you. So they're going to try to alert you. They want updated contact information from you. You can sign up online for outage alerts. Um, they cover 9 million acres. I don't know how many customers, but an awful lot, no doubt. So. Uh, we have a comprehensive wildfire safety program to address this. So they list everything but the fact that they can make it rain and do away with those dry conditions. You have safety tips too. Customers with medical conditions that require electric powered life support get a backup power system in place. Generator. You got to get a generator. If you use medical equipment in your home, Edison provides a medical baseline program. To learn about that, you can read that, uh, call that number. If you have electric gates, learn how to operate them manually. Shut off or disconnect all sensitive electronics before the outage to prevent damage or loss of data. That's if you get an alert. If you have a gas generator, identify an outdoor location where you can safely use it. Uh, what other kind of generator would work if it's not gas? An electric generator? Don't think so. Never connect a generator directly into your home circuit breaker panel. This can cause back feeding and, oh, that smart meter could cause a fire. Only use UL approved extension cords, plug strip to power your most critical loads, refrigerator, computer, medical equipment, lights. And consider extra fuel for your generator for extended outages as local fueling stations may be without power as well. Who else are they going to be turning off the power? Hospitals? First responders? Don't think so. It's only for you guys. Um, Department of Water Resources, Weather Modification Operations in California. When Jerry Brown's father was your governor, 71 through 72, it was Southern California Edison, who was involved in the weather modification programs in California, providing uh, more precipitation in the San Joaquin River Basin. This is a, it's a direct testimony, a deposition of an executive of Southern California Edison and well, he wrote an article, and that article is, let's see, Turning Silver to Gold, Measuring the Benefits of Cloud Seeding. Um, let 
it's Mr. McGurdy, who was overseeing Southern California Edison's year-round cloud seeding program to augment water supplies in San Joaquin River in the central Sierra Nevada of California. Pacific Gas and Electric is also involved in weather modification, guys. Californians, it doesn't have to be dry and you didn't have to suffer the drought. It's all been brought to you as a gift from your governors, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jerry Brown, Jerry Brown's father. It's been going on how long? Well, Southern California Edison has been involved since 1948, but they've been involved continually in weather modification in California since 1950 to augment precipitation. Not just in the San Joaquin Valley, though that might have been what was happening just in 1950, but they, well, they just expanded. I know they were contributing to the weather modification in Texas, Idaho, but here we have commercial weather modification has been practiced in the United States since the late 40s, 1940s. Quite a number of firms claim to be able, within certain limits, to change the weather according to the requirements of their clients. And states in the United States are clients of Weather Modification Inc. along with North American Weather Consultants. And Southern California Edison has used North American Weather Consultants often. One of the clients of North American Weather Consultants, a company that was founded in 1950, at the same time Southern California Edison began to continually cloud seed Southern California Edison used this commercial company to do cloud seeding in the winter and the summer to increase snow, to increase precipitation in the San Joaquin River Basin 1951 through 1987. And in 1990 and 1992 they used weather um, oh, what's the name? North American Weather Consultants to ground base to air seed and to seed ground based. Okay. Um, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, weather modification programs, Southern California Edison involved. How is it that we can't get through to people? I, you know, I don't know. I will link below to everything. But it's so sad, you know, when you have all of these lies going, a company that involved in weather modification. And I would say that probably not a majority of the employees of Southern California Edison know that Southern California Edison can make it rain. And if they can make it rain, then you didn't have to suffer the drought. And you don't have to suffer these wildfires that are so fueled by your dry conditions. But Southern California Edison wants to protect you by shutting off your power. This is the world that we're living in. Utterly insane. We know the truth. And then we're surrounded by all of... Hell, I'm going to say it. You 
you continually accept lies, you're, you're worse than the liar. Because liars will just lie. But the continual acceptance of lies allow them, allow them to continually create more and more damage. It's like, okay, a plant, right? It ain't going to grow if you're not going to water it. A lie, it ain't going to grow if you don't accept it. The acceptor is the watering of the lie. Stop watering your lies. And anyway, your water is rationed. Ciao, guys.